Hello everybody, Bearded Brush, and I'm very pleased to share with you my completed Gundabad army for now. <laughs> um, yeah, this was all of last year, pretty much, 2021, up to a point when we then moved house, and obviously everything pretty much stopped for the hobby for me. So this is about eight, say Call it 11 months to 12 months, 11 months most likely of sort of on and off, non-stop, you know, real dedicated time. Considering I started this guy, I believe, back in January, February time last year, and it's now June, it's taken me up to this point to have these guys actually completely and utterly finished. So, it's been busy. And that's pretty much it, really, for the entire year, bar a couple of World War Two. uh kits um, and a few other models here and there which will be coming along in a series of videos shortly um, yeah that was my whole model, model input but I absolutely love the theme of this army and I do sincerely hope you do too um, the bases I think are what makes this army really pop um, the colours are very muted browns of what you know cloth there is or material that there is that these guys are wearing. So the, the colours were never going to really be an issue in terms of you know combining it all together. Um, for me, it was the bases that were going to really make this army pop and was going to really sort of sell it. And I, I just I, I love it. I absolutely love this army. Once I have the money and the time to invest a little bit more, I would love to get the alternate troll with the uh, sides. Um, maybe in a couple more of the ogres, just just for the fun of it. Obviously, some more berserkers, and of course, most definitely some of the bats. Uh, infantry, of course, is a, ideally ideally in an ideal world. I'd like another two units of twelve, just to really bulk it out. Um, a good unit of twelve of these guys, both trolls, and obviously, well, we're saying that both trolls plus the the poor. <laughs> Emaciate, what's well, say emaciated, the just destroyed sort of troll with all the all the the troll brute is it is that the actual term? But the one which the poor thing's legs have been hacked off and it's been ridden by an, an orc is what a miserable existence that thing had. But the model is so cool, so that would be an awesome addition and definitely a centerpiece to be quite honest. Um, and like I said, you know, four of these just to really sort of theme it up and stuff would be fantastic. Maybe in time we'll even get the official model of the the signal tower. That would that would just be wow. Um, I don't know if that would ever be a thing. It could be. At this point, there's no reason for it not to be. But that would be an incredibly fiddly model, especially as it will come from Forge World. It will be the Forge World um, resin, and that signal tower is very spindly. Um, so for that reason alone, I do wonder whether that will ever become an, an, an official model. But who knows? Who knows? The jury's out. My plan is most likely to try and scratch build one. But either way, yeah, I love this army. Um, yet to actually game with it. I will do, no doubt about it. I'll definitely game with it. But um, I'm just so pleased. Standout models for me are Azog, obviously, because he's, he's such a cool model. And I'm really pleased with what I did to him, to his model. Oh, I've gone out of focus. There we go. Yeah, I just, I just loved what I did with him. How it turned out in the base, the way he's like lunging forwards. Um, in gaming terms, I can imagine some poor, poor little character model here, or some worry model here, <laughs> facing up against the evil, evil, just white wag and as organ. It's just, it's just awesome. It's cool. So he is awesome. He's a great model. Bolg, of course, which you see in a recent video, so I won't show too much of him. You've only just seen him, I would imagine. Uh, the Troll, obviously, a hefty weight and so much fun to paint. I can still remember very vividly painting this guy in his various stages. Um, the, the base was just a delight. Whoops, my hand's in the light, really. The base was an absolute delight to model. I need to tidy it up. Just a smidgen around the edges there, but it was, just, it was. It was such a great model to paint. That just working the armor, it that it was brilliant, and I love the way the color of the skin come out as well. Maybe a bit too blue, but they def definitely have a blue hue in the uh, films, and I'm I'm happy with it. It 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 just adds to it, in my opinion. 
yeah, it is so cool. Such a weight, I forget, because I don't handle this guy very often. I forget how sort of heavy he is. And of course, the, the Ogres, again, an awesome, awesome model. Great sculpts. Are they sculpts? I'm sure I had this conversation before. Are they sculpts or are they programmed, designed, <laughs> miniature sculpts? But again, the bases, I was so pleased with how the bases come out. Fallen logs. It's, yeah, absolutely love it. Really, really pleased. This army couldn't have gone any better. And I'm not sure if I've said it in past videos, but I do find the baddie armies can be a little bit boring. Um, and I mean that the nicest way possible, but the colours tend to be quite uninspired. That banner, I'm always going to be proud of that banner. Really am. I had a recent subscriber and a comment on this banner, actually, on one of the particular videos where it showcased this. And they said, like, you know, they, they liked it. And they're going to do something similar, which is always awesome to inspire. Uh, the captain models, both captains. Captain, my captain. Got the original one. Of course, got the one with some uh, additional bits from the Forge World conversion kit. It's helmet, I do believe. Or was there a sword as well? No, no, no. It was just the helmet. I did wonder. I do need to buy another conversion kit just to have one, actually, ready for my next batch. It's always good to have it and not need it, and need it and not have it, as they say. But yeah, my plan is we're going to do some good games with this. I'm not, off the top of my head, I honestly don't know the points value of all this together. And of course, here's, here's the two guys on foot as well. Um, but I honestly don't know what the points value of this army is. I'm guessing it's going to be around the 700, maybe 800 point mark. But I, I honestly, I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add a few bits and bobs here and there. Um, and so I'm just trying to think. What else do I want to sort of do with this? The mind boggles, to be honest. It just boggles. I always get myself in the tears when I'm sort of thinking about the armies. Because all the armies behind me in my display cabinet. So I look at my Arnor, my Numenor army. And uh, <laughs> I just think, oh, I'd love to get this. I need to get this. But yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to doing some games with this. It's going to be good fun. I look forward to it very much. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this um, this series of videos with me. I think this will end up being video 11, I believe. Um, which would be fantastic. Um, and I appreciate all the people that have watched it, all the people that have commented on it. It's really cool. It's really good. And I've just really enjoyed it showcasing all this with you. Um, the next video coming up is going to be about the Warriors of Dale, the Army of Dale, which is going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. On that note, guys, thank you for watching as always. Always appreciate it. You've been awesome. Take it easy, rock and roll, and I'll see you later.